Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer and it's time for our weekly recap where I talk about the past week's Rock Band 4 and Guitar Hero Live news. Now we really didn't have any new Guitar Hero Live news, so we're going to focus on Rock Band 4 today. Let's talk about the biggest news of the week. Xbox One digital pre-orders are now available on Xbox One. We also learned that if you pre-order this version of the game, you'll also get 12 free songs as DLC. So those songs are... So those songs are All That Remains, What If I Was Wrong, Baby Metal, Gimme Chocolate, Earth, Wind & Fire, September, Interpool, All The Rage Back Home, Jefferson Starship, Jane, Linkin Park, Rebellion, Marilyn Manson, The Mephistophilus of Los Angeles, Mastodon, High Road, My Morning Jacket, One Big Holiday, Pierce the Veil, King for a Day, Weird Al, My Own Eyes, and The Wild Feathers, Backwoods Company. It's important to note that these songs will be available as DLC to purchase as well, so don't fret if you don't own the Xbox One version or if you're just getting a band bundle or the guitar bundle as well. We also learned from TwitchCon this week where Harmonix is actually right now doing a live stream for Rock Band 4. We learned a few new details. We learned that December 8th is going to be the first free update for Rock Band 4, and they talked about having some new social and competitive features, as well as having variable breakneck speeds, the first for the game series. We also learned that there's going to be a brand new game mode that is going to drastically change the gameplay and something that players are probably going to love, according to the press release that went out. Uh, I'm kind of curious to know what kind of competitive game modes we're going to see. Maybe they're going to bring back Score Duel and Tug of War, or perhaps we're going to finally see the long-awaited and long-requested online play finally make its debut in Rock Band 4. Let's go into the next news of the week. We also got some great news for Canadians this week, so if you haven't bought the game or pre-ordered Rock Band 4, there's some great deals out there. The Microsoft Store was running a promotion where you could get $100 off the Band Bundle plus a $20 gift card, and it was the same for the guitar and game bundle. You get $40 off, plus you get a $20 gift card. And I saw it today on Amazon, they actually dropped the price for the band bundle from $350 Canadian to $299 Canadian. So if you guys haven't pre-ordered, now is a great time to go do it. And these are deals, I believe, for both. Uh, so the Microsoft Store was, of course, for the Xbox version, but the Amazon deal is for both the PS4 and the Xbox One game as well. The Xbox One Legacy Adapter also went up for sale on the Amazon store and apparently it sold out quite quickly. There was a discount where you get $15 off so you're only paying $10 instead of $25 and apparently it sold out on the US Amazon store. However, if you are Canadian, you can still buy it from Amazon.ca and if you're in the States looking for a Legacy Adapter, your best bet is to probably check out Mad Cats' website. The only downside is you'll be paying full price at $25. I also learned from Harmonix this week that they will be having a Rock Band 4 launch party, if you want to call it, during Comic-Con in New York on October 8th. I've put the link down to the website below. There are also some chances that you could win some cool prizes there as well. Tickets are only $5. You don't even need to have a pass to Comic-Con to actually go enter the party as well. I learned that the Frank Turner song, I Still Believe, which was released as DLC earlier this year and given as a free track to the entire Rock Band community, was apparently pulled from the music store for Rock Band 3. But you shouldn't worry because you'll still be able to download it in Rock Band 4 if you missed out when it first became available earlier this year. So learn that the 30 free songs that you'll get if you bought the band bundle will actually be made available for purchase on day one when Rock Band 4 comes out. This was posted by uh, one of the Harmonix employees on the NeoGAF forums. Let's talk about the Amazon sales rankings and man did Guitar Hero Live and Rock Band 4 both have a great week. So last week on the Amazon top sales rankings, the Xbox One version of the Rock Band Band Bundle was ranked 130th. This week it cracked the top 100, it's ranked 82nd. Now on the PS4 this week it's ranked 158th, it was 197th last week. And on Guitar Hero Live, the, the just the one guitar and game bundle is ranked 1003. Last week it was 1545 on the PS4 and this week on the Xbox One it's 602nd. Last week it was 1162, so both games moved up quite a bit. That basically does it for this week's news, guys. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for the latest Rock Band 4 Guitar Hero Live and Amplitude News. Take care.